Hi, I'm Danny Ecker with your Chicago Business Today Midday Report. Chicago got a big win in the NATO G8 summit coming to McCormick Place this May, but one trade-off will be the bill the city foots to compensate Chicago Parking Meters LLC for lost revenue on closed off downtown meter spaces. Much of downtown Chicago will be blocked off for the summit and the $1.1 billion deal that privatized Chicago's meters requires that the city make up for temporary block spaces. The compensation will also be at the newly increased downtown parking rate of $5.75 an hour. Well, the hits keep coming for Sears Holdings. Now business lender CIT Group says it won't give any more loans to suppliers to finance shipments to the retailer, according to a Bloomberg report. Of course, Sears recently announced disappointing holiday sales and that it will close as many as 120 stores. A Sears spokesperson spurned the announcement and told Reuters that CIT's payables represent less than 5% of inventories. Shares of the company were down about 5% this morning in early trading on the news after jumping yesterday. The stock is down about 60% since late October. Meantime, Sears chairman Edward Lampert is showing faith in the company's future. He bought $159 million worth of Sears stock recently, according to a report from the Wall Street Journal. Lampert's hedge fund firm ESL Investments sold him the almost 4.5 million shares. Well, the real Chicago winter made its debut this morning as snow graced downtown streets. But the recent mild temperatures have been a nice relief for Chicago's snow removal budget. The city spent $500,000 on snow removal in December, according to recent numbers, a fraction of the $6 million it spent during the month last year. Savings have also spread to the airports, where snow and ice removal costs are down. City officials say they are better financially prepared to handle the winter still to come than last year. And finally, Groupon may be passing on a Super Bowl commercial this year, but founder and CEO Andrew Mason will take the national spotlight this Sunday with an appearance on 60 Minutes. It'll be Mason's first big interview since taking the Daily Deal giant public in November. A preview has shown the 31-year-old executive responding to skeptics of his quirky style. Groupon stock will be one to watch following the show. It was up in trading this morning at just over $19 a share, just under its IPO price. And that's what's happening in Chicago business today. For more breaking business headlines, stick with chicagobusiness.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.